I hate notes and I hate UVs. It's boring as hell. I want to click and I want stuff to happen. Do you know what I mean? Just like in real life with hot chicks. Now it took us eight months to develop this new alpha feature for material works and it's brilliant. You can add decals and trim sheets with our mats without decal machine without any crushing problems you know just you click and it's happening and you also on top of this don't need to update decals anymore because you know um, our add-on doesn't run on blend files so easy peasy you plug it it's happening so first i'm going to tell you how the add-on works so if you don't know you will learn then i'll show you how the new feature works which is fantastic and then I'll tell you about the promo at the end, okay? And if you're not on our Discord or our email list, then, you know, probably should be, because that's where the news drops first, yeah? And the promo is massive, 50% off, so, you know, if you're lucky and uh, you're gonna hire it, you can still get it, okay? So, let's get started. So, let's grab a cylinder, or actually, let's grab a cube. And I'm in Blender 4.4, uh, uh, by the way because I hate Blender 4.5 with all my body and every single cell in it. It's just absolute hot garbage. And I tried 4.1, you know, 4.5.1.2.3, just doesn't fucking work. So we're gonna use 4.4, but our add-on should work all the way back to 4.2, at least that's what Proxy says. So you can use the 1.2 version, which is a new one, and, you know, plug it into any Blender you want, basically. So let me show you how it works. We're going to go to cycles because I want to show you a cool feature, which is the procedural bevel. And it only works in cycles. Don't blame me, blame Blender. So let's go to cycles and GPU compute peachy. And let's go to, and now you look, normally what you would need to do, that's a feature number one, which is amazing. You would need to go to shader editor, add the nodes, you know, play with fucking HDR maps, nonsense, right? With our add-on, you click and you're done. You, you, you know, you get a coffee, you know what I mean? So that's how it's happening, right? And you get six pro-grade HDRIs created by Alex Sancho in Keyshot. And if you don't know who's Alex Sancho, you, you're fired. So let's grab a, I have a few more maps. By the way, you can add more maps. So you can just stack, you know, as many HDRIs as you want, no problem. Let's grab this one because it's kind of um, even light. And let's just, you know, drop some mat, yeah? Now, what you can do with this Azure, you can change the rotation, strength, everything you want, so you don't have to go to nodes ever again, right? This is the whole point of this add-on. I fucking hate nodes, uh, so, you know, Josh, too, we, we just don't like... I, I see three nodes, you know, I, I get a seizure, do you know what I mean? So, it's, it's problematic. Three girls, I can handle. Three nodes, fuck that. So, anyway, um, what you can do is, is so many things. You can change color of the mat, right? So you can you know, go here and play with the color, brilliant, right? You can revert it back to what it was, no problem. But things get interesting when you go to a mat which is, you know, with a, with a bit of a pattern, right? What you can do, you can, you know, change the scale, you can rotate it, you can also change the roughness of the mat, right? You can uh, flip the normal map if you want to. So if you scale it down, you can flip it. You can go here and you got other options for inverting the map. You can change the metallic value, obviously, and you got other interesting features that come with specific maps, right? Specific maps. So, for example, what you can do is you can add a mission to some maps. Like this one, if you click here, you got a missive map. And you can go full Disney, you know what I mean? So, you can do something like this, no problem. If that's your thing, you can do it, right? And you got full Disney, do you know what I mean? So... Uh, that's one. Two, some mats come with alpha mats, so you can drop alpha and you can make them transparent. So you can create a, like a fence or like a sci-fi floor, you know, uh, whatever you want. So the add-on has the features built in and they will show only if you have a respective map in a folder. And like I said, you can add more mats to this add-on, you can bring your own mats. There's a video that shows you how to do it when you, when you buy an add-on, okay? Now, another thing is that some mats are translucent. So let's go to rubber and let's go to translucent rubber. And it may not seem that it is translucent, but if you drop alpha to 50, suddenly it is, okay? So you got a lot of options with mats, okay? That's one. Two, you can pop edgeware, which is brilliant, right? So let's go to metal and uh, let's just pop edgeware. Now, the notes work a little bit slower because uh, of how the new 4.4 is structured, but we're going to be actually reworking this, so don't worry about it. So the initial kick on the wire is a bit, you know, takes like a two, three seconds. But once once you get it in, you can do all kinds of stuff. You can restrict your damage to edges or to the full model. You can stack, you know, um, different effects here. 
So if I click here, I can, you know, keep adding like, for example, rust, right? And you can also change, you know, to different type of rust, okay? Because each of these edgeware mods has a different kind of a permutation of variation, right? So you can change them, you know, back and forth. And all of these have additional, you know, um, additional settings here, like strength, normal scale, rotation, blah, blah, all that stuff, right? And you can stack as many as you want and, you know, do whatever you want with them. And some of these combinations are pretty freaking cool, right? So if I, for example, grab this copper, which is cool, and we're going to add some wear to it. And we're going to go to uh, go back to Rust and pop that on. And we're going to nuke this, uh, these dents here and then nuke this Rust to, you know, something like this. Let me just nuke it a bit more. You can hold Shift to fine tune it. There you go. And you got some kind of a really cool kind of like an aged, you know, golden metal. So you can do some crazy stuff with these maps, okay? And in addition, there's also a setting file inside of each folder. And there's a sample file as well. You can change attributes of each of these maps individually. So you can kind of personalize them. So like you can bump the normal map higher. So when you add your map, it's going to be with higher normal map, inverted normal map, you know, whatever you need, right? So it's really versatile, okay? So that's that. Now, next feature, which is really cool, is going to be the bevel. And this one is fantastic. So you just click here, okay. change samples to 16, done. And hold shift, you can adjust the you know, bevel width. And it's a procedural bevel. You have to be in cycles. But it's fantastic when you just want to render. You don't want to be bothered with fixing shading, all this nonsense. Slap a bevel, done, right? Now, next. A really cool stuff is that when you, for example, want to run your mat through a certain you know, strip of geo, right? Like, let's see here. I wanted to run it through this, you know, strip of quads, right? All the way down through that bevel. And I can't really do that because you see, even if I drop the blend or play with the blend, and I'll show you how it works in a minute, it's just mangled, right? So what we want to do, and I'll switch to UV project, right? And then we're going to define where the seams fall. So I just mark these edges, right? And uh, pop seams on them. So mark a seam, then select everything, U angle based on wrap and you're back in game right and now you can pop the scale to five bob jungle do you know what i mean so it's really easy and if you don't like it boom you can switch back to blend now blend is really cool because if you go to quad sphere for example right and grab aluminium or aluminium as some of you guys say incorrectly obviously but you know that's beside the point anyway so you could you see this uh seam here right it looks a bit nasty so what you can do is up the blend here and boom gone Try planar projection kicks in and you're looking peachy. So depending on what mod you're using, you got different, you know, ways of fixing the issue, right? So that's that, right? Now next, obviously, you can choose between different um, size of maps. So we, we're giving you 1K and 4K presets, but you can also load different types. Cool. Now let me show you how the decals and trim sheets work. Okay. So let's start with the uh, with the tr uh, with the decals. So in object mode, if you press D, you're gonna see the entire library of 860 decals, and you got sci-fi details. You got you know pa floor panels, 80 of them. You got emissive decals, Japanese decals. You got corporate decals. You got you know all kinds of decals. You can decal everything, even your mom. Okay. So let's just pop one decal, and you see by default a decal will inherit the the mat of of the mat of the of the object and if you go into you know let's say pop something else like a simple decal with one mat it will completely change the color right you can change the color inside as well by going to adjust boom sort it if you change color of this of this object it, you know the decal is going to shift as well and this one we're going to have to adjust it in the middle and bob janko now if you go into for example run edgeware through it same shit no problem so you just click here and the edge is going to kick in. Cool. And we need to adjust the middle here because, you know, there we go. And Bob Jungle. Easy, right? Then you got emissive decals, which are really fun um, because they will allow you to adjust the emission, change color, etc. So you can change color here. You can change the strength of the emission. You can go higher. You can go to complete to zero. So you can turn it off if you want to, right? So if you don't want to have emission, boom, done, right? Easy. And you can also select multiple decals at the same time. So deselect all, and then you can adjust them all at the same time, right? So there you go. Boom, sorted, right? And then uh, what you can do, you can preset the size in which the decals are coming. So if you can, you know, go here and change the preset, 
let's say you're adding some small bolts or whatever, some detail, and you need specific size of them, they're going to be smaller, and they will continue coming in that size, okay? So it doesn't matter what you add, they will be at the same uniform size. And when you want to revert it, go here at 0.5 down, and it's a default size, yeah? Next, we have a really cool feature. Let me just select all these, delete them, and change them out here to darker. And if you, for example, want to grab uh, one of these, uh, you know, alpha decals, let's say Japanese decals, okay, something like this, okay, and pop it in here. You see, you know, they they quite bright, right? So if you want to blend it really well with a dark surface, you want to blend them with alpha sliders. So we build it in into the add-on, so you just slide it in, and you can blend them really well with your model, so it looks a bit more natural, right? Another thing is that uh, it's really important to understand that you can change color of decals, right? So if you go here to a regular decal with a text on it, right? And you want to change its color, let me just rotate it. You can rotate it too, by the way. 90 degrees, hold shift 15 and shift and out one degree, okay? So it's really easy to adjust it. So now let's, let's say we wanted to change color of this decal, right? Go here to color, go to disconnect, and you can change color to whatever the hell you want. And if you want a mission, you can pop it in here, you know, and you peach, okay? Um, so there you go, that's how easy it is now. Now, next thing you can do is you can put decals on a curved surface. So let me just fuse this with, uh, with Mesh Machine. So we're gonna have a bevel. And we're going to press D and, you know, grab one of these decals. And you see it's actually flat, right? So it's kind of like, you know, the the, the bevel is curved, but the decal is flat. So what you can do, you can go to D menu and simply shrink wrap it, which is gonna add three modifiers here, subdivision, shrink wrap, and decimate, which will adjust automatically to the density of, of your surface. And if you want to move it, because now you can move it, <coughs> you can press D and you can, you know, un, unshrink wrap it, okay? So just remove these three modifiers and you can move it wherever you want. And by default, the decals are parented. So if you scale the model, rotate it, whatever, even if they're not shrink wrapped, you can move it with the model. So if you have a lot of decals on the model, not only you can keep moving them, right? But uh, unless they shrink wrapped, um, but uh, you can move the model with them. So, you know, whether they shrink wrapped or not, and the model is going to be, you know, the decal is going to be moving with the model. Okay, really cool. All right. And again, change in math, very easy. Then you click here, select all decals, go to D and, you know, flip the math to gold done. Easy. Now, let me show you trim sheets, okay, because they're fun. So trim sheets, unlike decals, are accessible only in edit mode. So let's go to edit mode and slap some loops here. Select this one and go to D and you got two types of trim sheets, okay? You got the texture trim sheets and non-texture trim sheets. Non-texture trim sheets are marked T1, T2, T3, etc. Textures are with the mark QM, stands for Quixel Mixer. So they come with preset textures, I'll show you in a minute. So normal trims, you just, you know, click here and you got sub trims in each of these. So there's, there's a shit ton of trims, okay? You got, I mean, it's, it's you know, 21 million permutations with all the mats and trims and everything. It's insane. So let me just click here and, you know, uh, pop it in. You can scroll through the trims. Let's say we want this one. Okay, cool. Let's say we want to scale this, right? So D and click here, press X. You can squash this. You can also go to D, X and G to move the seam or press G one more time and move it up and down, which is going to move the trim up and down on, on, the, on the whole trim sheet because the trim sheet is a squared kind of like a UV map and you move the trim up and down to select, you know, um, what's going to be displayed in this strip of quads. That's how it works. That's how it works. Okay. So you can do that. You can also press F to flip it and do all kinds of stuff. You can also rotate it if you want to. So if you go to D and click here and rotate, it's going to flip it 180. So, you know, cool stuff. You can also run it, um, you know, vertically if you want to, no problem. You know, it's going to work too, so you can do all kinds of stuff. And you see, this one is stretched. You see that? These are supposed to be holes. So what you want to do is go to here to uh, DX, and you want to scale this until you're going to have, you know, holes. Done. There you go. A lot of fun. And if you change mat, guess what? The mat updates. Unlike in Decal Machine, because Decal Machine can't do it. But anyway, um, in fact, Decal Machine can't use any other mods than BSDF, which is the limitation, uh, which is why initially we created an update for MaterialWorks that allow it to work with Decal Machine, but it was you know, a lot of problems, crashes, conflicts, updating decals. 
screaming and gnashing of teeth and I just, you know, we just get annoyed and said, fuck it, let's develop our own tool because this is nonsense. And this is way more, you know, way more unified. And also, like I said, you don't have to update decals anymore because they don't run on blend files, they run on, on textures, which means you can plug in any, uh, you know, any decals you want. And the mats and decals come in different folders. You got separate folders for decals and separate folders for mats, so it's easy. And if you want to link our add-on to asset folder that you're using for decal machine, you can do it too, because it's going to pull the decals and, and trim sheets automatically, no problem. So you can have one library for decal machine if you're still using it for baking, but you can link our add-on to that folder and it's going to pull the decals from that folder and you don't have to update it at all. So it's really easy to use, okay? So uh, that's that. And uh, that's basically the update, uh, which I hope you guys enjoy. I guess it is an alpha, so there could be some issues here and there. But we're going to be, you know, uh, constantly working on this add-on. We have a lot of ideas for the future, a lot of ideas. Some of them came from you guys, so thank you for that. And I know that you guys love the add-on because we have feedback on Discord and emails, etc. So, you know, it, it's really cool to see that a lot of people are embracing this because, you know, this is really fun. I mean, you have to admit that it's so much easier than fiddling with notes. And do, I, I just don't have enough cats, you know, in my area to appreciate notes. Do you know what I mean? It's just not enough cats. Anyway, so now we're running the, what you call them? Promotion, that's the one. And uh, you can get it for 50% off. So go to our website and to bloodthebrows.com. Go to our products and go to the offer and you're going to be able to snatch it you're also going to have a link in the video description so if you're quick enough and you're going to click it within the time limit you can snatch it and enjoy and if some of you guys own the add-on but do not own the trim sheets and decal pack we're going to be sending an email to everyone and upgrade you guys really uh, with a really good offer so you know just wait for the email but if you don't get it or you bought it on blend market whatever just mail us and we're gonna you know fix you up okay no problem so and from future from now on you know the add-on is gonna come with the decals and trim sheets so if you're gonna be buying the add-on you buying the decals and trim sheets so there you go now the last thing big up to proxy for coding this beast you know proxy is proxy if you don't know proxy you're fired proxy is behind box cutter and quite a few features in hard ops and he's been developing this add-on from scratch we have a lot of ideas going forward but at the moment we're working with proxy on something different something really really cool and if we're gonna pull it off it's gonna be groundbreaking so you know it's gonna be exciting times so when i big up the proxy and uh, if you guys have any issues or questions or you know remarks etc there is a, a chat material works chat and bug reports chat on our discord so join the discord link in the video description thanks for watching i'll see you next one